Agora TV. The world is thinking. the United States that is so challenged to accept what I as a scientist and my scientific community accept as scientific fact and so that we can actually get on with the business of embracing solutions which is actually a business that can provide economic growth and economic return and prevent a lot of economic loss. Exactly. Well I'm so glad that you you emphasize that it really is only in the United States that this is happening. Uh, and it's not even happening in most of the United States. The deniers have a large megaphone, and it's called Fox News and the rest of the right-wing media machine. But if you look at the numbers, really look at the numbers, it's just, it's a minority of people who believe this. Now, okay, so why? It's a sizable minority. I don't mean to say it's not. So why in the United States and not elsewhere? I think two basic uh, reasons. One is that the United States historically and today has had a much, much stronger fossil fuel industry than any other advanced industrial nation. Mm. Look at Europe. They don't have uh, and haven't had historically major oil companies. In Britain there was, you know, British Petroleum. That was their company. Uh, in Netherlands, Royal Dutch Shell. But the big oil companies historically have been U.S. based. And most of their money originally came from here in the United States, drilling in Texas and Oklahoma and here in California. Mm -hmm. And they became, the oil industry in particular, came, became the single richest business enterprise in human history. Let me emphasize that, mm -hmm. the single richest business enterprise ever. Mm -hmm. They know perfectly well that if we take climate science seriously, mm -hmm. they will have to sell less product. Mm -hmm. And so they have, um, as has been well reported, and I talk a, a bit in the book, you know, they've spent literally millions of dollars on a very calculated disinformation campaign for 20 years mm -hmm. that is torn right out of the playbook of the tobacco industry and in fact used the very same scientist, mm -hmm. Frederick Seitz, as their top guy. Um, to basically say, uh, in the immortal words of a tobacco industry PR memo in 1970, doubt is our product. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doubt is our product. Not to prove, the point has not been and is not today, to prove that climate science is wrong. The point is simply to raise enough doubt in the minds of journalists, politicians, uh, the business class, uh, and the general public to raise enough doubt so that you can blunt the urge and the, and the calls for political reform. Mm 